I'm just trying to make sure that the people can hear. Have an argument with this. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I'm trying okay. To Wait, oh, the man at the bus stop is arguing with himself about life. We brought up your name the other day. Yeah. Because we were talking. I don't know. We were talking about housewives, and somebody said that you would be a perfect, a good addition to the show. I don't think everybody wants me on the show. Why well, are you laughing? Because I, I want to know who is everybody. I don't know who, but I don't think that it's been wel a welcomed concept Ooh. for the past five seasons. I've been asked a few times. I've been asked for a few seasons. But I don't think, I don't think. I can't hear you anymore. I'm really, um, I don't know if you can hear me, but I really like the um, newest lady, uh, Tank, what is it, Tanya or is it Tanya? Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, what's your name, Tanya? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Go on. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So you said what? Who? What? What happened? You said no. See, somebody else just said yes. She would be a good addition. She would be good on our Hey, y'all, y'all, you guys look. Tell Bravo. I don't even know if I would do it honestly at this point. I don't want to do a lot of arguing and stuff. I'm, I'm not here for that shit. I tell you that much. Yes. Oh well. You know, I'm from, I'm from Oakland and originally. I'm not saying that that's a hold on. I'm gonna buckle my seatbelt. One moment. Can you do that right? Um, I'm from Oakland and we have a low tolerance for uh certain things, you know? Yeah. Can we I talk about to argue a lot? I don't know. Who did? I think you're supposed to like get into arguments and then they're not supposed to, you're not supposed to let them escalate. We're supposed to be drama for TV. And I don't really know how to, I don't have that kill switch that you should have, I think. I know, because you were going to beat me up. <laughs> we were, we were early enemies. I think we were, very, I think we misunderstood one another. I think we did. And it's like at the end of the day, I, I was like, I love Tamika so much. I love <laughs> Michelle, you already know. It's like, I don't know what it is about the way I write that triggers people. Um, but I'm like, these words be hurting y'all to y'all soul. And I be like, well, it's only words. Well, a lot of times things just hurt. I mean, yeah, I get already it. Going, but you know what I said about you back then? I always said, blogger, sometimes you guys write things and you guys could be in a, in a weird space in your life. And I think that hurt people hurt people. Oh, okay. I really do. I really do. And and after getting to know you a little more, I think there are little things that, you know. You know what? Have you ever seen this movie called Ma, M-A? I a, didn't watch I it. I know it, I but I, I, I haven't seen it. Spencer, let me tell you this. She was like this crazy mass murderer. She was crazy. But if you look back at the history... She was teased. She was. She she basically went and got revenge on all the people that shitted on her in high school. So you trying to say I was getting? I was trying to get revenge. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But, anyway, but I don't think. I mean, yes, we're good now. But I mean, at the end of the day, my my explanation is this, and we've talked about this before. I didn't know you, and it's so easy. And it's easy to judge people that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's e just just like the whole Instagram culture. It's easy for people on Instagram to go up under a post and call people all kind of uglies and bitches and whatever because they don't know them. You know what I'm saying? And once you know a person, like I know you were going through, you know, your situation or whatever. But at the same time, it's, it was it was fodder for the Internet. You know what I mean? Fodder, and yeah, so sure. we were talking about it and I get it. I, you know, me being on the streets of Atlanta and me seeing you and you being like, that's that girl that wrote this, that, and the third. I get it. I, I totally get it. But at the same time, it's like now that I, like, you know, when I got to know you and then, you know, I was in the court with you and blah, 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 blah. It, it, it became something different. Like, I wanted the truth to get out as opposed to just what everybody thought of the outside. Right. 
right, 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 right. That's true. That's true. Um, are you setting into my workshop on Monday? I, I, I definitely will. I, I reposted your link for your workshop. Oh, and that's funny because I was going to, I have one I was going to send you, but I'm going to send it to you anyway. Are you sending me another one? <laughs> well, well, it's a flyer for people that encourages people to sign up. The workshop is going to be cool. I'm going to talk about style. And you know what? I, what I realized is that my, my thing in life is not fashion as much as it is style. Mm -hmm. Because style is the manner in which you do things. Like how you do everything is your style. Like you can be, you can have one fashion from head to toe and walk in a restaurant and be loud and uncouth. Then you have poor style. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, so your style is different than your fashion. Okay. And I think that I'm more of a style. I think I'm more stylish than I am fashionable. I don't care about labels and I like them. I don't have to have the most designer labels in my closet. Okay. Like, well, I just put I mean, your flyer like up. I don't know if you can see it, but I put your flyer. Oh, the, I can see it. The flyer Thank that you, you um posted on Instagram. Oh, dope. Good, good, good. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I have a, a kind of custom one for you. So. Uh, okay, cool. So getting yeah, rid of things you haven't worn in the last six months. Okay. Oh, my goodness. People can clean out their closets. I also want to tell people how they can um kind of purge and kind of simplify one thing that this this coronavirus thing has shown me is how much simpler we can all live right we i mean it's shown us by force but we're able to function with really the bare minimum mm. with a lot less a lot of it's been ex a lot of it's been excessive i think well i think it's just forcing us to slow down Correct. And regroup because at the end of the day, all of us were moving so fast. There is nothing that Everybody. could have slowed the world down except for something like this. Unfortunately, you know, it's killing people. But at the same time, is is and I tell a lot of my friends this it's not just you going through, you know, worrying about you know, your money, your gig, your bills, you know, none of that, like everybody is. So now it kind of even the playing field for everybody. It even the playing field is definitely level play, playing field, but furthermore, but it's given quality time. Like I'll give you an example. You know, I have son, I have a son that's in college. I've got, of course, my little boys, everybody's moving so fast. They don't even have time to talk to each other. Like everybody's holding 30 second conference. Like, okay, let me call you back. I'm on my way to do that. Let me, let me, let me hit you right back. You know, everybody's rushing, rushing, rushing each other off the phone. Everybody, this is how it is normally. Mm -hmm. Now we have time. Like, listen, my kid's father has been homeschooling them. <laughs> wow. He's been the principal. He's had to be the principal. And he usually doesn't have time. Normally, he'd probably be somewhere out of town doing a show. Or now he is able to see some of the things I complain about with the boys. He'll be, he's seeing, he's like, okay, I'm seeing firsthand how they pull the wool over your eyes. So I like, I'm, I'm liking certain aspects of this minus the, you know, the sickness and the death. You yeah. Know, I, I hate that. I wish we, you know, I wish we could have this without people losing, you know, all their stocks and all their money and dying like that's that's whack well speaking of which where where are you going where is you traveling to right now using the car listen first of all i you don't see my glove i'm hee -hee -hee on my glove <laughs> i had to make a grocery store run and i also sometimes I, I i feel the need to get dressed i think everybody should get dressed every day yes um i was in a in a robe for I guess seven or ten days, about, and I realized I was like, no, get up, get dressed, put on a little makeup. Which my lips are so damn dry right now. <laughs> I clearly didn't follow my own advice. Oh, you did a whole photo <laughs> shoot the other day, child. I saw you. I did, but well, no, I was filming. I have a YouTube channel that's coming. So oh, yes, yeah, so I'll be introducing that also on my um. Look at them working out right there. With those that you know, I said all the celebs. And everybody trying to get on the YouTubes, and I'm late. I'm late. I have never seen so many people live on Instagram in my entire life. Oh man, it's, it's kind of it's a little bit off putting, yes, 
Well, you know, I'm like, what, 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 what are bloggers and the bloggers and the influencers? What are we gonna do when everything is filled up with, you know, celebs? And like I was telling my my viewers, I'm like, I haven't been online because here I've been trying to watch the people like y'all watch the people. Look, I'm a fan of some of them too. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's just right now, it may be a weird time for you guys, but once we get back to normal life, everybody gonna be going jamming up all the streets with traffic everybody's gonna be in all the restaurants smoking everywhere and who could and life will get back to normal and you bloggers will be sitting out blogging and yeah. On oh, not <laughs> Why is y'all hate bloggers? First of all, I'm not that typical blogger. It is some bloggers out there, especially a lot of those Instagram bloggers that are shitting on people literally. Like that is their goal. Even, is let me to, say what I did. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, but let me say what I've done. I unfollowed all that crap, to be honest. I follow you as a person because I like you. I got to know you, but I don't care about the gossip part of it. I really yeah. don't. I'm my life is I got enough drama and crazy and funny shit that happens in my own personal life. First of all, I got kids, so that's already a movie. Mm -hmm. So I don't um I don't pay attention to any other gossip. I'll hear little stuff. My friends will call me and say, "You hear that the baby slapped somebody in the club?" And then I'll go look. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I'm not getting the stuff firsthand anymore. Well, Those I mean, as, I as a woman of a certain age and you have kids and you have other I things. am a little longer in the tooth. No, I mean, we all are. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, at the end of the day, some things just don't phase you the way they used to. You I know don't what I mean? care. I don't care who's fighting and marrying and cussing and spitting on each other. I don't good. even watch reality TV. Honestly. <laughs> it's all good. Well, I I know you have, you know, things to do and places to go, but if there's anything else you would like to tell the people, you know, we can, you know. Okay. I'd like to say two things. One, I'm so excited that I just got some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be happy to have Chick-fil-A, but I promise you, I found a Chick-fil-A and I got some Chick-fil-A. That's one. Mm. The second thing would be um, to pick up a copy of my book, White bras and 101 other style faux pas. Water. Okay, white bras. Um, and I know you hate the white bras. I'm trying to see. You don't have a picture of it on your um, Instagram that I could put. Oh, here it is. It's, uh, I yeah, see it. I got it. Yep. White bras and 101. You guys can read it and laugh, laugh, laugh at home. Um, yeah, but that book is funny. It's telling you that fashion and style don'ts. And, and do some do's but mostly don'ts like the you know egregious things that people do that they need to stop doing like blowing their nose in public I've been telling people not to do that oh that's disgusting oh my god and I'm about to throw some shade and I mean you, you and him might be cool but Junkie Dineva he be blowing his nose all on videos and everywhere and it just be like oh that's so disgusting i what do like Don i don't want to talk about Donnie. i know i know you might you, you might know, like him the, even though he tried to drag you and say that you was begging for crab legs or whatever but whatever he could he could drag me but i ain't gonna drag him back uh-huh somebody gotta be bigger i ain't dragging nobody <laughs> Mm. I y'all be giving people passes. The folks I need to be draggers, I ain't drag. So if I didn't drag them, listen, mm. I ain't drag nobody. I know y'all scared. I told you, I don't do a lot of that stuff. I know. Where I'm from, we don't argue a lot. We drag once or twice. Y'all fight. Right. We want to meet up and fight. Exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, my eyes burning. It's a whole different ball of wax. But yeah but i love you to death tell everybody to buy my book and sign up for the webinar it's monday i'm gonna be talking cash shit on monday i got nothing else to do why not and you've been talking cash shit your instagram is yeah. good. that's, that's all you do is talk shit on instagram and your uh instagram live well that's who i am man i just gotta be me and that's what i'm gonna do on monday i can't wait well i appreciate you kiss the kids ryan and everybody like oh my god your football star son I'll kiss. I'll kiss him. Oh, damn. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. He said, hey. <laughs> I'm trying to buy, get a case of water, and this is a mess. Well, I'm I'm like, well thank you for joining to me. To be careful out there. Oh, I am. I'm about to grab a case of water and get my tail back in the car. And you do that. I am. And we'll talk, we'll talk later tonight. This is my last time in the public eye. I got to get inside and hide. <laughs> 
All right, girl. Bye. All right. Love you. Ooh, see, I be trying. Look, I be trying not to be messy, but I know I'm messy. But that's okay. That's okay. Hey, binge worthy. Shout out to binge worthy in the building. Tamika is your kind of classy brown girl. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I had to like remove stuff from the studio. Hi, you guys. Uh, definitely, if you would, look, Wolverine callback. I got my earpiece in now. I don't know what had happened. Um, look. I literally had to put my earpiece in because I couldn't hear from the computer. Hold on. And I don't know why I couldn't hear from the computer. That's what's so that's what's so weird. That's so what's so weird. And you know, I may have told this story in the past, but but I actually met Fedra through my dealings with Tamika because Tamika was threatening me for things that I had posted on my um my site when she and Usher were either going through a divorce. I don't even remember. It's been so long ago, been like 10, 12 years ago. But um, I hired Fedra. This is before Fedra even got on the housewives to, you know, with my restraining order and all that, and, you know, the Fedra trying to negotiate. It was just a whole big mess, y'all. But, you know, we ended up, you know, having a discussion after the fact and we've been cool ever since child we've been we can travel together we done broke bread together we eat together um but now she lives on the um west coast